Hey there, this is um, my video of working through number 13 from the 3.3 part one practice. Um, so here's the equation that we are trying to find dy over dx for. And our first step, remember, is to state um, that we're differentiating each term with respect to x. Now, when I do this step, I'm going to rewrite the two terms that are on the left-hand side just so it makes it easier for me um, to differentiate. So I'm gonna rewrite one over x as x to the negative first power. And then I'm going to rewrite x over y as a product, the product x times y to the negative first. And on the right-hand side, I can pull out the two to show that I'm just differentiating x. Okay, so this step, remember, states that we are differentiating each um, term with respect to x, the left hand and the right hand side of the equation. So thinking chain rule to differentiate the x to the negative first power, I bring the negative one down, I subtract one from the exponent, I leave the inside alone, and then when I multiply by the derivative of the inside, remember, you can think of that as just being times one or times dx over dx, which will end up simplifying to be one. To differentiate x times y to the negative first power, we have to use product rule, since that's a product. So first factor, and then times the derivative of the second factor. Well, to find the derivative of the second factor, I'm gonna put parentheses to organize my chain rule. I bring the negative one down, I leave the inside alone, subtract one from the exponent, and then I'm multiplying by the derivative of the inside, which would be dy over dx. And then plus the second factor times the derivative of the first, which would, you could write as uh, dx over dx, right? The derivative of x, of x with respect to x, or that's just one. And then on the right-hand side, we have the 2. And then same thing, it's, that's the derivative of x with respect to x, which you can write as dx over dx, or you can simplify right away to that being 1, or because we're just multiplying by the constant 2, 1 times 2 would just be 2. So just 2 on the right-hand side of the equation. Okay, so next I'm going to simplify this a bit. Um, so the dx over dx, that's just one. And I can rewrite negative one times x to the negative second as negative one over x squared. And then simplifying, so since this is plus and I don't have anything to di distribute in, I don't really need the brackets. And looking at this first product here to rewrite without the negative exponents, that can be written as minus x in the numerator over y squared times dy over dx. And then plus rewriting y to the negative first without the negative exponent would be 1 over y. And then we still have equals to 2 on the right-hand side. So we only have one term that has dy over dx in it. And we want to just get dy over dx by itself. So the minus x over y squared times dy over dx, that's going to be what stays, well, you can either think about that staying on the left-hand side and everything moving away from it, or moving that over to the right-hand side. I think I'm going to leave it where it is and think about um, everything moving away from it. So I would have negative x over y squared times dy over dx on the left, 2 plus 1 over x squared minus 1 over y. To finish getting dy over dx by itself, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of negative x over y squared, which would be 
um, negative y squared over x. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by that on both sides of the equation. Put it in brackets here. Okay, so then we have dy over dx by itself. And if we think about distributing the negative y squared over x in, that would be minus 2y squared over x and then minus y squared over x cubed plus y squared over y times x. And actually, the y that's there could cancel with a y in the numerator. So leaving us with plus y over x. Just gonna rewrite that. And we wanna get our answer to match the textbook. The textbook has a common denominator. So since x, our denominators are x and x cubed, we can multiply the two x uh, terms that have x, just x in the denominator um, by x squared over x squared to, to get that common denominator. So that's multiplying this fraction by x squared over x squared and this fraction by x squared over x squared. So after I do that, I would have negative 2y squared x squared minus y squared plus y times x squared all over x cubed. So the numerator is not like terms, so I can't combine anything in the numerator. However, um, to make my answer match, I can just, by the commutative property of addition, I'm allowed to rearrange the order of the terms in the numerator so that my answer does match the textbook. So x cubed in the denominator, and then it looks like they put the x squared times y first, so that's this term, and then minus 2x squared times y squared, so that would be this term, and then minus y squared. So now my